guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here using all MAC Cosmetics eyeshadows. This is just a really great look if you want to look beat to the gods but you don't want to look like you're wearing too much makeup. This is just the perfect look for you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyelids with the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I didn't even know that they had an eyeshadow primer and I went to Sephora the other day and saw it and I was like, oh yes, I have to get it because I love their face primer. So first thing you want to do is you want to step that with just an eyeshadow that is around your skin tone. So for me, I used Soft Brown by MAC. Then what I did was I switched out my brush and I decided to really focus this color into the crease of my eyelid. So I'm kind of like stamping it on the outer V of my eyelid and then I go back and forth in windshield wiper motions, just placing that color to add a really nice transition color onto the lid. Now going into MAC Cosmetics Swiss Chocolate, I'm going to pick that up on a smaller brush. So this is a more defined brush and I'm going to place that in the outer V of my eyelids. I'm really using this color to intensify the eyelid and add a lot of drama to the outer corner of my eyelids. So once I'm done placing everything on the outer V, I'm going to start dragging in whatever's left on the brush into the inner crease of my eyelid. So as you can see, I'm taking it further and further in towards the inner corner of my eyelid. You don't have to worry too much about being too messy here, but you do want to make sure that you keep it in the crease. And then I went back in with that first brush and I blended everything out again so there's no harsh lines. Now going into the color Brown Down by MAC, I'm going in with a smaller brush. This one's more stiff than the one we just used. And I'm going to place that in just the outer V of my eyelid and blend that out. One thing that I want to mention is you can do this step as many times as you need to until you get the desired intensity and darkness that you want from this outer corner color. But just go soft to light. Don't press too hard. Just do a little bit at first and then increase as you go on. Now going into the Smashbox palette, I'm picking up that cream color and just placing that all over my eyelid to really lighten up the inner corner of my eyelid area. And then what I'm going to do is just take my brush again and blend everything out so that there's no harsh lines, everything looks really blended and seamless and you really get this beautiful ombre type effect. For brows, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Dark Brown. And once those are filled in, I'm going to set those bad boys with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I'm using the same color that I used on my eyelid just underneath my brow bone area to highlight that area. And then I'm going to go in with Wing Liner. I'm using my Tarte Eyeliner. And sorry guys, I went a little under the frame. But I'm just doing a classic wing liner. Right after that, I'm just going to tightline my eyes with my Maybelline Kajal Pencil. I'm going to curl my lashes with my Tweezerman Eyelash Curler and then apply some mascara with my favorite MAC Cosmetics mascara. For lashes, I'm going in with the House of Lashes Noir Fairy Black Eyelashes and then I'm going to prime my skin with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've heard so many people talking about this primer and I was going to go pick it up, but my girl Victoria had an extra and she gave it to me. So, you know girls, we have to help each other out when we can't afford makeup. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do is just go in with foundation. I'm going in with my MAC Waterweight Foundation. I believe I am in the color NW45, but I will leave the colors and all the products I used in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Once I place that all over my skin, I go in with the e.l.f. foundation brush and start buffing that into my skin. To get into like the smaller areas like my forehead, I moved over to a Real Techniques brush. And then right after that, I went in with my beauty blender to kind of blend everything and make sure there's no harsh lines. For concealer, I'm going in with my favorite concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. Obviously, I'm going to apply this on all the usual places that I would apply concealer, so underneath my eye area. And then to balance that out so my skin doesn't look like an odd color, I'm just going to place that down the bridge of my nose and also down the middle of my face as well. I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. I really wish I could blend this fast in real life because I would get my makeup done so much faster. <laughs> and then I'm going to set my concealer just underneath my eyes with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is just a really nice yellow powder. If you're in a similar skin tone like me, you definitely want to be using a yellow powder to set because it'll just highlight that area even more. Once that's dusted off, I'm going to go in with contour. I'm using my Bobbi Brown contour to just give my face a little bit of a snatched effect, make me look a few pounds thinner. And I'm going to go underneath my jaw area as well, just to give me that really beautiful snatched face look. You guys know that I contour my nose. I think it makes such a difference. 
it really is an instant nose job I love 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 doing it so I'm gonna place some contour on my nose as well and then I'm just going to take a bath in this all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay so that my makeup starts melting together so now I'm just going to apply more eyeliner in my waterline I'm then going to put on some blush I'm just using this wet and wild blush it's one of my favorite blushes and I'm actually gonna go heavy-handed so I'm using this real techniques brush I'm putting a lot on and as you can see I kind of look clown like but then I go in with my beauty blender and kind of blend that out and it looks so much more natural I'm taking Swiss chocolate from Mac and placing that underneath my lower lash line then I'm applying some of my favorite mascara again from Mac and then look what happened guys my eyeliner exploded all over my hand so that was a waste of money um, very sad very upset and it took me a while to clean up <laughs> so now going into this Fenty highlighter I'm gonna place that on all the usual spots that you would highlight your skin so the tops of your cheekbones down the bridge of your nose I'm also gonna do a little bit on top of my eyebrow I really love this highlighter and then on top of that to add some really highlighted effect I'm gonna go in with Becca Cosmetics opal and just literally everywhere we just put that Fenty highlighter I'm gonna go in again with opal highlighter and just make sure to double highlight because who doesn't love double highlighting I mean come on lips I'm gonna go in to Mac Whirl lip liner on top of that I'm gonna go in to Kat Von D bow and arrow liquid lipstick then right before I go on to the last step I'm just going to drench my face even more with all-nighter spray I really want my makeup to just look flawless and my highlight to really really pop right after I do that then I'll just dab the beauty blender onto my skin so that everything blends nicely together and the last step is to add some cashmere velveteen on the tops of my lips okay guys so this is the end of my tutorial i hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look if you did please don't forget to leave me a comment down below and to give this video a big thumbs up for those of you who are new to my channel i would love for you to subscribe and join my little youtube family i will talk to you guys in my next video don't ever forget you are so beautiful bye guys